Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Now, I want us to look at Matthew chapter 24. Remember now at the end, in Revelations 8, I was just telling you that the Lord is not coming till after the son of perdition is is ex, is exposed or rises to power. So here, let's read Matthew 24, starting in verse 4. Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in divers are various places. And these, all these are the beginning of sorrows, beginning of the tribulation. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, or have tribulation, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many, listen, and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Now, at the beginning of this, where I was started reading in verse 4, the disciples had come to Jesus to show him the temple and to ask him, What will be the sign of thy coming and the end of this age? And the first thing he answered them was, Take heed that no man deceive you. Now we know that 666 is the number of a man. So it's going to be a man. He's going to rise up out of the sea, which represents people. It's going to be a human man who will be the Antichrist. So as we've already seen, and some of you can attest to, in your churches, false teaching, which makes them false prophets because they're teachers. And so we have to be careful. And the only way that you know that what your preacher or pastor or bishop or priest or whoever is standing at the pulpit is telling you, the only way you can know if what they're telling you is the truth is if you take it back to the Word of God. Now, you may not be able to um, recall every word that they said, but if you look at your pamphlet, it's usually in there what verses they pulled from in your little, you know, I um, can't even remember what they call that, but um, when they hand it out at the beginning of service program, the program. Anyway, and then you can see. But then you can use your phone because now we have this technology available to us that you can Google it. Google, does the Antichrist come before the end? And they'll, it'll bring up lots of answers and you can explore that. And it should also bring up text, um, scriptures, so you can go and read it for yourself. Does it reconcile? Does what they told you reconcile with the word of God? If not, find a new church. Okay, so um, verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Remember he said that mother-in-law will turn against the daughter-in-law and the father against the son. I think this is what this here, this verse, verse 10, excuse me, is conveying. Because we know already that we're seeing the division caused by man. We have the politicians in Washington 
beating the drum of division. You know, everything is racist. And now it's uh, the rich people have all the money and the poor people have nothing. So it's a division, a financial division. And we see other types of divisions. Oh, they're in this Republican Party or, oh, they're in this Democrat Party. And, and so in Washington, when we're getting the news about what Congress is doing, it's the Democrats and our friends across the aisle, the Republicans. They are all one group. They're our government. And they should all be working for the people, doing what is good for the people. That's why I said once before, pray for our leaders in the whole entire world because they're all saying the same message, build back better. Well, unless something is destroyed, it's hard to build it back. So what exactly are they doing? And this, I know, is a concern to a lot of people, and it is to me as well, but I know that it is the number of a man. And I know also that the problems that we're seeing in our country, these are all man-made problems. The cost of fuel going up, closed the XL pipeline, man did that. All the immigrants that are coming over the border, that are getting more benefits than the American people that have lived here all their life that are in need. And then we also know that uh, we also, uh, 